Hello YouTube, you seem to be up early. Hello YouTube, how do you do? My name is Monkai and this is my vlog, eh? How are you doing? My brain is really confused today. I, uh, I was thinking about philosophy. Yeah, I used to enjoy philosophizing in school. I used to uh, and really, really love my uh, religious education stuff. Um, and my tutor always used to say that I'd be really, really, really good at philosophizing. I'm gonna tell you the five weirdest freaking philosophies I know. These have no particular order whatsoever. Number five is idealism. Idealist theory says that there are no foundational beliefs. Instead, our belief exists in a system of interconnected perceptions. With this theory, you can ultimately conclude that no one belief is more important than the next. In the end, this theory is extremely circular. If a certain belief is true because it coheres or fits with others, then what do they cohere with? Sadly, there is no answer. In the end, you're stuck in an infinite regression. Number four is uh, deconstructionism. Yeah. The theory states that there is no one meaning when observing a piece of text. Instead, a text has several different meanings. The theory also states that when given a piece of literature, the reader ultimately decides what the meaning is, not the text in the book. It does make literature meaningless. If you reduce and reduce the meaning of something so much, in the end it has no meaning at all, and it has no purpose. Uh, three, one of my favorites, is uh, phenom phenomenalism. Phenomenalism states that physical objects do not exist as things in themselves, but only as perceptual phenomena. Meaning, we can't know anything is real beyond what we perceive and verify. Despite how neat it sounds, phenomenalism has its issue. What do we consider verified? And what about math? Math surely is real, and it doesn't require sensory perception. Neutral moneyism. Neutral moneyism says that the mental and the physical are not two fundamentally different things. Instead, the view holds the body and the mind are made up of the same material, which isn't mental or physical. The theory assumes that the mind is real and relies heavily on a mental ability. All right, I don't know how to say this one, but uh, number one is solipsism. By dictionary definition, solipsism is a philosophical... By dictionary definition, solipsism is a physical theory that states that a person can know nothing but that he or she exists, and that the self is the only existent thing. In common words, solipsism expresses that you believe you are the only real thing. So I'm having a solipsism party tonight, yeah? You tell your friend, and your friend's like, Oh cool, can I come? And you're like, no, because you're not real. Imagine that. Everything around you isn't real apart from yourself. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. It's pretty freaking dull, I suppose, if you don't like stuff like that. But it's the way my brain works, thinking about what the world can offer. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I've been a monkey, this has been my vlogger. You know I'm gonna close this vlog with my nose because that's the way a monkey rolls. I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out, take care, bye bye. Hello YouTube, how do you do? This is my... Hello YouTube, how do you do? My name is Monkai.